so far as to say, I was possessed. I was tall and strong for my age, described as King Kong by some, graceful as a ballerina by others, pornographer and poet, nun and poor. My audience of believers grew by the hundreds, then thousands, then I lost faith. Here's what made me really happy. I stole her's Mercedes, which I drove across the desert without stopping to rest or eat. How long did it take? Who knows? What happened to the car? Who knows? Perhaps I left it on a side street in some rural village with the engine still running. Perhaps I doused it with gasoline and watched as it burst into flames. Who knows? The Aztec dogs run in circles and howl. The door to paradise is always open. My mother said, you are the chosen one. My father once said, you are our pride and joy. I spoke perfect English. Fame was my vocation. It tastes like semen, like the gleaming metal head of a hammer, turpentine, gunpowder, black pellets of shit from man's ass, the juice of a woman's cup. Even as a child, I could smell your fear and unease, your jealousy and confusion. Who and what was I? Your endless speculating about the dubious origins of my exotic looks and mystifying gender was amusing to me then and still is now. Caucasian? Possibly not. I crawl into my damp, cold bed, clutching my gun. Should I hide it under a pillow? Oh, it's been months since I've heard applause. It's been months since I've slept. I disrobe quickly, relieved to shed my rotting shoes and rotting socks, the greasy jeans and shirts I've been wearing for months. Months! Last to go are the hammer, Felix Montoya's leather jacket, and the loaded gun. Where the fuck do I put the loaded gun? My bloodshot gaze wanders over to the bed of urine-soaked sheets, the epicenter of an elaborate installation by the most famous writer of them all, Ananimus. I peaked at 19, <laughs> but before that, Glorious. I knew what was important. I could dance and throw a punch, dive through flaming hoops, and get paid. Don't need the gym or the pool at first. 
physique trim and tight, muscles oiled and gleaning, without ever having to break a sweat, mind you. It is the middle of the summer, brutal. The Aztec dogs are singing. The desolate stadium breaks and bakes in the desert sun. I drift off a fitful sleep, lulled by the intense heat, and my intense nakedness buzz of black flies soaring above my head, smell of rot and dream in which I am more wanted than ever. I dive into a black sea of broken mirrors and begin to swim. My mother called pig lechon which I, the child, found quite quaint. Chalking it up to some bit of faraway tropical paradise lingo from some faraway tropical island where, if you bought into the delicious bullshit flying fast and loose out of my blind mother's mouth, suckling pigs were slaughtered, roasted, and devoured every minute of every hot, fucking delicious day. <laughs> At 14, I trade the flannel nightgown for a sleek red jumpsuit. My hyena laugh doesn't quite fit the picture, but none of you seem to mind. Life of the party. It was uncanny, really. I always knew which name to drop and how to work the room. Define Neverland. <laughs> I love to get high. You remember how I was famous for my irony and biting mordant wit when I was high? <laughs> you remember my astonishing gift for mimicry? You remember how I object of fading youth and fading beauty always aimed to please? A glimpse of the fabulous universe I once knew. Jungle, tent, telescope. A dollhouse, trumpet. Swimming pool, prayer book. Mother. Boxing gloves, needle, crucifix. Tennis ball, vial, father. Ruby slippers. Buttons of ivory. Sister. Boys and A beads. Brother. Lover. Noose of gold thread. I loved getting high. <laughs> you remember how famous I was for getting high? <laughs> I'd rather be high than drunk. There's a difference. Dream come true, eat like a pig, never gain a pound. <laughs> in this quiet arena, in the center of the scorching field of red clay, gaze at the rows of empty seats that surround me and listen hard for the roar of absent fans demanding angry excited fans thousands of them millions of them impatient lovers and haters chanting in unison screaming my name heaven <laughs> once upon a time Climbed down from a cross and sang of me a lullaby. <laughs> Once upon a time in our kitchen of formica and linoleum, <laughs> mother baked a towering cake for my birthday. It took her all day. The kitchen became engulfed in tantalizing aromas of cardamom, butter, sweat, and burning fields of sugar cane. 
My voice changed without warning. My beard grew, and I learned to shave. There were blessings, there were curses. I began to speak in tongues. People paid to hear me growl, to see me eat fire. A born performer, they all gushed. I oh, oh, love yeah. yeah. No doubt about it. <laughs> Being wanted comes so easy at first. Eat like a pig, never gain a pound. My parting words, wisdom to you. Forget substance, babe. It's about. I love women and artists and writers. I love artists who have cunts and writers who have cunts. Don't you? I've spent hours in galleries and museums all over the world, poured over books of art history, seriously flirted with becoming a curator or a pimp. But to be an artist? All the pieces you just heard were excerpts from Cosmopolitan by Dick Agadorn. But let's give a hand to Ralph Pena, who is yeah. the director.